Hi, welcome back to my channel. Anyway, today I'm going to be making some spaghetti squash and I talked about that in my very first video and how I like to just bake it and put in some Parmesan cheese, some butter, and um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Let's get down to business. I'm going to be opening this spaghetti squash, and if you've ever tried to do that, you know it's really, really tough. I mean, I got this knife. My gosh, this is a Yan Can Cook knife my son's knife. Um, do you remember Yan? And he had his own cooking show, Yan Can Cook. Well, this is a great knife and uh, that's not the only tool that you'll need in order to really do some business on this. Now some people, they actually take this spaghetti squash and they'll just pop it in their microwave. I don't even know for how long. You know, maybe you can comment below how you take care of these bad boys but um, they soften it in the microwave and then cut it in half and then scoop out the seeds. Some people just pop it in the oven and I've done that, it works. Um, you just pop it in the oven, 45 minutes whole and uh, scoop out the seeds when it's done. But I find that that's really hard to do because the seeds kind of get stuck into the pulp and then <laughs> it just is a mess. So the best way that I find is to really kind of like tackle it with a big old knife. <laughs> I'm gonna use this, which is, um, what is this? My son would know what this is called. You men out there will know. It's, um, gosh, I can't even think of it right now. I guess it's my age. I can't even think of the name of this. I know what it is, but I use this as a tool to pound and uh, that gets it open. Here we go, knife in hand and some, valuable points on this you want to score this if you can with the knife just kind of push it along what you got look out for your fingers had a bad day at the office or somebody's bothered you in traffic this is really a good way to take out those frustrations <laughs> smack that smack that squash smack it smack it real good Scrape those seeds out, just like that. And because it's so hard, scraping those seeds out is gonna be pretty easy. So rather than just bore you all while I'm scraping, let me do that and I'll be right back. One, two, three. Anyway, um, we got a little time to just chat while it's baking. What I like about this is you pop it in the oven for about 45 minutes and you don't have to watch it. You just put it in there and let it go. And then um, you can make just something simple with that. A hamburger, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. You could do something as simple as a chicken breast, which you could bake right along with the spaghetti squash. or you could even do a, a ribeye steak, which is what I'm gonna do tonight. Side dish, maybe along with a small lettuce salad. We'll see, we'll see. So, you know, having the right foods. Um, some people were asking about what are some good things to have on hand for cooking and starting keto. I highly recommend having, you want to get yourself some almond flour um, some coconut flour, some granular sugar, like Swerve, that's a good, good one, I use that, and um, avocados, definitely have those in stock. A half an avocado is really going to help you maintain and reach your fat levels, and sometimes that's the hardest thing to do, is to reach your fat levels for the day. So, butter, avocados, sour cream, heavy cream, you know, all of these things can contain high fat and that's what you want to kind of keep focused on. All right, well, our spaghetti squash is going to cook for 45 minutes. We'll be back to shred it up later and see how we make it in the oven. And 
and here is what we've got so far. Um, it's not finished yet, but I did shred it. Just gonna spread that around a little bit. I generally will take this and um, just put some butter in it and just chop top it with some cheese, pop it in the oven until the cheese melts. But tonight I had some leftover red pepper and I had a little bit of uh, onion. And so that little bit, uh, it's a very small amount really, and just sprinkle that on top. I wanted to add a little color. So, and I wanted to get rid of the last little bit of red pepper. So that's, that's that. And then just a little bit of butter. You can see it's dark outside, so it's almost time to eat. I'm getting hungry. And so tonight for dinner, steaks. Oh, just, you know, cook that in a little grapeseed oil in a pan, salt, pepper, and uh, add some butter at the end. It's delicious. So sometimes we just want to keep keto, very simple keto, simple keto. Um, and then just making sure we get our fat in for the day. So that's why I'm adding some more butter here. And um, once we get that mixed up, just to give it a little kick, I'm going to take some shredded, I've got, <laughs> I do this, just another little cooking tip. Um, <laughs> when you're old like I am, you got a lot of cooking tips. I shred uh, from the block uh, mild cheddar cheese. And also I do the baby Swiss cheese. So I have Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, all ready. So when I'm doing my omelets or making soup or whatever, I've got this right there and uh, <laughs> comes in really handy. Anyway, just take this now and sprinkle it on top. And it's just really easy. Um, I do a lot of stuff with my hands. Of course, they're always clean because I wash them before I cook. <laughs> Generally, I wash them a few times while I'm doing the cooking. So I find that that's one of the best tools that God gave us is our hands. We do so much with them. Anyway, uh, we even speak with them. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We've got this all ready to go. Let's get a picture here of that finished product going into the oven. And uh, I've got it on 350. Well, we'll just do that for about 15, 20 minutes, and we'll be back. Um, I, for, I came back because I wanted to tell you, I always add a little Parmesan cheese on top. I just think that gives it a little boost of flavor. So I didn't want to pop this in the oven and not indicate that that's what I'm doing, is adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then also I'm just taking a little bit of heavy cream and just putting a little bit, you know, just like, I don't know, that's not much. It's not even probably a quarter cup. It might be a tablespoon, two, two tablespoons. And I'm just gonna mix that all in there. And uh, that's just gonna give it some nice, really good creaminess. So we'll see that product when it comes out of the oven. Should be soon. Um, pretty soon will actually be eating this delicious meal. So, um, I've got grapeseed oil in the pan. Um, adding a little bit of butter. Quite frankly, I have the heat on pretty hot because these steaks take very long to cook. So, pop that in there. All right, wash hands. <laughs> hands clean. A little Himalayan salt. I always see it a little bit more than yeah, good for me. <laughs> and uh, some pepper. Two grams of carbohydrate. Gives it a nice little flavor. And I don't use much. Just a pinch. That's it. That's it. A pinch. So that cooking. It's going to be just one second. 
to get that brown on one side. And oh my goodness, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I should be using hot top pad mitts or whatever they are, but two towels really works good. So, we got that. Oh my goodness, it's really looking good. Oh, pretty nice. So what's your favorite keto recipe? What do you like for a keto meal? What keeps you on track? Why don't you share with us? All right. coming together pretty nicely, if I have to say so myself. Let's get a close-up here. There's the steaks, marinating, and the butter. And uh, this is our finished casserole dish. Let's put a little light on that subject. Well, I'm going to sign off now because it's late. My son's been working in the garage all night, trying to get his truck fixed up for deliveries and his job. He does countertop fabrication and installation. So I think he's probably done now. I hope. Because uh, we got dinner ready. I'm hungry. So... Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.